Hi everybody, it's Pete. And in today's Camera Lucida tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the app with the front camera. You would use the front camera because it enables you to place your iPad in front of you, have your drawing right here, and draw in a much more natural position. To do this, you're going to need to do two things. The first is you're going to need to lean your iPad back a little bit. And the second is you're going to need to attach a mirror to the front of your iPad so that your drawing surface is reflected into that camera. Now, if you don't have a stand like this, it's really easy to make one from things you have around the house, which explains why I have a jar of marinara sauce in front of me. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tape this pencil right in front of this jar of marinara sauce. There we go, one side and the other. And by doing this, I'm going to be able to place my iPad leaning against the jar without worrying about it sliding forward. I can also adjust the angle nicely by just pushing the jar backwards and forwards. So that's the first step. Now for the second step, I'm going to take this mirror and I'm going to attach it to the top of my iPad so that the drawing surface down here is reflected up into the mirror and then into the camera. Okay, let me change camera angles to give you a better view of this. Now, once you have your iPad leaning back, it's time to attach the mirror. In this case, all I did was to take a piece of this tape right here and tape it to the back of the mirror and then just tape it to the back of the iPad and let it dangle down. This angle right here is pretty important. And I'll be honest, it took me three attempts to get that angle at one that was about correct. So then once you've got this at the angle, it's time to go into the app. By the way, if you're wondering where I got these little square mirrors, I purchased them down the road at my local hobby and craft store. You usually buy them by the bag and they only cost a couple of dollars for a dozen or two. Also, you can go to your local dollar store and you can get a compact mirror, one that'll fold right on top, usually for just a dollar or two at the very most. Now that I have my iPad leaning back and a mirror attached to the front of my iPad, Anything that is on my drawing surface is going to be reflected up into the mirror and then into the camera. So now it's time to run the app. And to begin, we open an image from our camera roll as we usually do, and then we zoom in. Remember, as you're zooming in and pinching, it's going to show you both your drawing surface and the image so that you can compose it exactly as you want. Then when we're happy with that, we can go into the advanced camera controls and make some subtle adjustments. Sometimes, the angle of the mirror, the tilt of the iPad, etc., can change the view. And we want to make sure that the view is exactly the way we like it. So we have two ways of doing that. The first is by pushing the auto button. And the second, available in the more menu, are these manual controls. When I push the show manual controls button, I get a sequence of sliders down at the bottom that can be used to adjust the pitch and the angle of the camera view to make sure that it's exactly correct. How do I know it's correct? Well, in the More menu, there's another button here saying Print Save Helper. When I select that, I get this sheet of paper, which is just some circles and squares. That's all it is. And when I display it on the screen, I want to make sure that those circles and squares look like circles and squares, and the horizontal and vertical lines are perpendicular with the edges of my iPad. Now, in this case, it's not perfect, so I might want to adjust this. When I go into the manual controls, as soon as I control them, I'm going to get a pop-up that's telling me you're entering the manual mode. And then, as you move these sliders, it's going to change the camera view to adjust for perspective. You can also shrink things down if you want, horizontally or vertically. You can zoom in to fill your screen. Basically, you can use these controls to adjust for any kind of tilt or perspective that the camera might be seeing. So I hope that this video gives you a good feeling for how easy it is to use the front camera with the app. 